Welcome back to Revamped Outdoors. My name's Elliot. Got a little uh, STL update video for you, so let's jump into it. The design that I have up there is a clip-on uh, type design, two-piece. You put them together with a small, uh, I guess, call it a spacer o-ring here. Uh, it's not really an o-ring but just kind of a spacer put it in there and then you can glue them up together like that so you end up with a, a fishing float bobber uh, this is printed in PLA I prefer to print it in PETG anyway the community uh, came to me on Thingiverse gave me a few suggestions for uh, improvements so I've implemented those and I've put an update out on Thingiverse so if you're interested in having a slip float so a slip fishing float say that 10 times fast eh but this is just a flo uh, slip float so essentially there's a, a small u in here uh, you put the line through you have a, a line stop on top of that and then uh, usually you tie it with a nail knot um, I'll put in a picture here of uh, what I'm talking about but you put that anywhere on your rod that way you're not limited to about 18 inches of clip-on space for uh, when you cast that way you can um, put the bobber all the way down to your sinker or your bait and then you can get the uh, leverage to cast far even though you want it down about five feet so slip floats are very very nice for fishing um, I didn't have a design previous to this so I came out with a design um, this is one of the two-piece designs that I made so it basically prints like this if you're confident enough in your bridging abilities as well as your ability to stop filament from uh, oozing. This may work for you, printing it vertically like this. The other option I have done is I've put in a 3D printing dovetail into this section here. Um, so it prints like this on this section, and then this section down, and this section print vertically. So that way you don't have to worry about trying to support this very small gap where the line goes through. Uh, for it to be a slip so if you do want to give this uh, new version a try i have updated the thingiverse page with this uh the stls of this on there so you can print it out give it a whirl if you want i've already had one review not on this new version but all the previous versions he printed it out and caught a few fish so that's pretty awesome to see i like to see the community interact with some of these designs uh, makes me feel pretty good that i'm giving back to some of the people that have taught me a lot and all my subscribers that give me input so if you like the video, maybe uh, consider subscribing, maybe give it a like. I'm doing three more videos recording here right now, so I'll be putting those out in a few, uh, uh, who knows, you know, probably three weeks, but uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully a little sooner than that. Uh, one's using the Cricut Maker to cut uh, no longer made gaskets for an ATV, which is kind of cool. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh I'm going to get out of here before I mess this take up anymore. So keep your uh, amps up and your filament dry. Mm -hmm.